Hi, today I will be talking about certain aspects of mechanical engineering that will help contribute to the exploration and development of the Arctic. I will start off with an explanation of why exploring and developing the Arctic is important, and some of the risks involved in doing so. I will also touch on a piece of mechanical equipment designed to make this task safer. The exploration and development of the Arctic is important because it will open up access to a lot of untouched offshore oil and other resources. Not only this, but it will also allow for better research on climate change and the loss of sea ice. Another reason why developing the Arctic is important is that it will provide a further solid claim on the sovereignty of the land, thus allowing us to develop it further. There are many risks and safety concerns involved in developing the Arctic, especially in the case of offshore drilling. Due to past incidents such as the British Petroleum oil spill in 2010, it is known that offshore drilling sites can leak and potentially cause harm to life. Although these incidents do not occur often, it would be much harder to fix and contain an incident in the Arctic if it were to occur. This is due to the remoteness of the Arctic and its conditions. Any equipment needed or medical personnel would have to be shipped or flown in, and even then, weather conditions and sea ice would determine the ability to do so. To decrease the risk of losing life and reaching the remote areas is an amphibious vehicle known as the Arctos. The vehicle is designed to be able to handle extreme temperatures such as fire, and the Arctic air in order to rescue rig workers should the rig catch on fire. Also, because the vehicle is amphibious, it can travel through the mix of water and ice that makes the Arctic so hard to travel through. Not only this, but it will also allow for medical personnel to reach a rig faster than they would be ordinarily. you saw the Arctic Coast in action as it traveled through a mixture of snow, ice, and water. This clip is shot in Fort McMurray. However, the conditions were made to replicate those of the Arctic. The main piece of the vessel is an arm situated between the two main compartments. The arm is operated hydraulically and pushes the front compartment of the vehicle on top of the ice. The tracks of the Arctic Coast also have spikes on them to provide the vehicle with better traction and allows it to travel up steeper inclines. The Arctic Coast only has a top land speed of 16 km per hour and 5.5 knots in the water. However, the craft also weighs 32 tons, so this is a very reasonable speed for the vehicle. The Arctic Coast can also seat up to 52 passengers and has a firefighting water cannon and a positive air pressure system that can be used to expel sour gas. There are currently 25 Arctic Coast craft operating around the world and have already been proven to be effective in the field. With the economic and environmental need to explore and develop the Arctic, risk will have to be taken. However, with mechanical equipment such as the Arctos, it should be a little bit more bearable. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.